Hello everybody and you're very welcome to Swords Castle. We're going to perform some music connected with the events of 1920 and the first song is called The Bold Black and Tan. Said Lloyd George to Macpherson, I'll give you the sack to uphold law and order, you haven't the knack. I'll send over Greenwood a much stronger man and fill up Aaron's Isle with the bold black and tan. He sent them all over to plunder and loot, the houses to burn and the inmates to shoot. To reconquer Ireland, says he, is my plan, with MacReady and Co. and the bold black and tan. The town of Balbriggan they burned to the ground, the bullets like hailstones they were whizzing round. With women left homeless by this evil clan, they've waged war on the children, these bold black and tans. From Dublin to Cork and from Trim to Mayo, lies a trail of destruction wherever they go. With England to help and fierce passions to fan, they must peel bloody proud of their bold black and tans. For it's not by the terrors of England's foul horde, for ne'er will the nation be ruled by the sword. Our freedom we'll have yet, in spite of their plan, or ten times the number of bold black and tan. We defeated conscription in spite of their threats, and soon we'll defeat our Lloyd George and his pets. For Ireland and freedom, we're here to a man, and we'll humble the pride of the bold black and tan. Uh, myself and Ado are going to play a piece now. Uh, this is uh, Planks decomposed by the famous harper composer Turlock Carolyn. And interestingly, this castle was apparently in the ownership of the Cobb family uh, during the War of Independence. And Frances Cobb, the great feminist writer, uh, her grandmother commissioned this piece from Turla Carolyn. So uh, while he didn't play here, there's the echoes of, of his patronage and his music all around this area.
Okay, I'm going to do a song now uh, that I, from a collection of songs that I've written about uh, events, stories and people of uh, Fingal's history. Uh, this one, uh, thinking about the War of Independence, uh, is about uh, Thomas Ashe, whose figure looms large in influence around Fingal's role during that time. Uh, as a young lad, I played in the Black Raven Pipe Band in Lusk, uh, so I was always fascinated by Thomas Ashe, and uh, I've written this song as a tribute to him, uh, what he went through, what he stood for, and I guess the legacy that he left behind. Uh, isn't it amazing, 100 years later, over 100 years later, uh, to see the Black Raven Pipe Band and the and Round Towers in Lusk still thriving. So this is called uh, Come Fill the Air with Freedom. Oh, 
The next piece myself and I are going to play is Knuckan and Champel, again to celebrate the beautiful architecture here. We're in the old church of Swords Castle. And thanks also to Dave for kindly letting us share the stage with him today. Thank you. Our last piece is the ballad Kevin Barry. After his execution on the 1st of November 1920, uh, many songs were written about uh, Kevin Barry, and this is the one that has stood the test of time. It's interesting that he was arrested on the same day as the sack of Bulbriggan. So the 20th of September is a very significant event in these parts. In Mount Joy Jail, one Monday morning, high upon the gallows tree, Kevin Barry gave his young life for the cause of liberty. Just a lad of eighteen summers, yet there's no one can deny. As he walked to death that morning, proudly held his head on high. Why not shoot me like a soldier? Do not hang me like a dog. For I fought to free old Ireland on that bright September morn. All around the little bakery Where we fought them hand to hand Why not shoot me like a soldier For I fought to free our land Calmly standing to attention as he bade his last farewell to his broken hearted mother whose sad grief no one can tell for the cause he proudly cherished this sad parting had to be then to death walk softly smiling that old Ireland might be free just before he faced the hangman in his dreary prison cell British soldiers tortured Barry just because he would not tell the names of his brave comrades and the things they wish to know. Turn and form or we'll kill you. Kevin Barry answered no. Another martyr for old Ireland 
Another murder for the crown Whose brutal laws might kill the Irish But won't keep their spirits down Lads like Barry are no cowards From the foe they will not fly Lads like Barry will free Ireland For the cause they live and 